you talk about Black fam as a platform, can we talk about which Black family shows were your favorite growing up? Oh my gosh, uh, I wasn't expecting that question. Um, but my favorite family, what I so I grew up in South Central LA, super poor. My parents were working, and I was home alone a lot. And my show that I always watched every Thursday was The Cosby Show. That show was like my like everything. It, it taught me how to be a dad. It taught me about everything. So when I think about like my favorite shows and what was the most influential was that show for me. So now you're creating a platform where a whole bunch of these types of shows can come up for the new generation. Why is it something you thought was important? Well, it's it was one of those things I, you know, uh, having the sort of childhood that I had, I realized how important TP was for my my growing up. Like, and I realize now having children of my own, how important they are. They're still tied in. And by the way, they I had one screen. They have like four. And in all four of those screens, there's no like rep, there wasn't, in my opinion, a representation of the kind of black family that we are. Also, that there wasn't, it wasn't that same vibe that I had when I was a kid, where I was just watching the stuff and getting pure enjoyment, but also like aspiring in a way and, and believing in that as a as a possibility of that kind of structure. And so it came out of, you know, my experience has been in video. I worked at DirecTV for a number of years. I worked at, and uh, I, I launched um, HBO Max. I was the chief brand officer. I named it after my son. I know this space really well, and it was a gap. It's just a gap. And so a lot of times we get relegated to the Black Voices section of these big box streamers, but in that Black Voices section is everything. And, you know, I can't go through that with my kids. I did that one summer, and I realized, oh, my gosh, there's a we need a home. We need a home for content that we can actually just scroll through watch all the trailers for, explore, and find something to watch together. HBO Max is such a flex, because, yeah. <laughs> but when you think about, you know, Sister Act being a movie that so many Black families have watched together, to have Whoopi Goldberg partner with you on Black Fam, how does that feel? Oh, my gosh. that's a, It's been, you know, I believe in divine intervention, and our paths crossing was really meant to be. And um, it, it was we're like kindred spirits in the way that she is iconic and has is Hollywood for me. Like she is what entertainment, especially for video and movie, you know, TV, movies, talk shows, she's done everything and at a point, like at a, st a state of excellence that us combining forces, I have a lot of experience in the streaming development world, like creating audience and bringing technology together and her and I coming together is a dream come true. Like I said, I was at home in Los Angeles on Florence and Compton watching Cosby show, dreaming of the time that I would have my own network and what would I do with that? And now I do. And it's it's really um, a dream come true. And she's she's not just a name and she's not just, a you know, she's actively involved. I talk to her weekly. She's she feels like what we're doing is building this up brick by brick. She calls it like we're starting from the basement up. I'm very inspired, honestly and truly. And when I think about just creating a space like that, you know, what the possibilities are for people in the future. So will there be some original content? How can people get in touch with you to find out how they can get their shows getting on, you know, the platform? So number one, yes, we're, you know, the the the, the, the wonderfulness of having Whoopi, a Whoopi Goldberg EGOT partner is she's got so many ideas and she knows what's going to hit. Um, so we are developing original content, but um, we are at, you know, as I started this, I thought, oh, this is an opportunity to aggregate and create a couple of new ideas. But what I'm actually finding through our, our development, and it's only been, you know, four weeks now that we like actually launched, is this is a genre. Like people want Black family entertainment. And it's not just a platform. It's a platform physically, but it's also a platform theoretically in a genre. And I feel like this is just going to keep catching on and there's going to be more and more content that is made for us as a family unit, not just us as individual parts of, you know, individual people. It's like, you don't need, we don't need more 
reality housewives. <laughs> we don't need more um, uh, of the the images that we see in mainstream media uh, portraying black the black experience. So this is a, a um, I think this is a new genre being created. I think this is a, a platform that's being created. You can find us on Apple TV on Apple TV. We're on Roku. We're on Amazon Fire, and you can go to our website blkfam.tv and get and get in touch with me that way. Um, just sign up, take a look. We've, we're adding stuff every week, um, and it's just going to get better and better.